So people, I'm going to show you some things in this video you've never seen before. One of the secrets to the goal swing and coming up, we've got a test that you can do quickly at home to see how flexible you are through the ball, your range of motion. And this position through the ball we're going to be looking at are when your arms are halfway through and where your shoulders point, the turns and the tilts. And when we get these parts right, especially for some of the senior players, we can get ourselves into some really dynamic positions when the turns and tilts are correct without having any stress on the small of your back. As we see tremendous side bend from the Hovland, but the back remaining very, very straight. We'll also take a peek here at the direction of the shoulders and how they work with some great drills and exercise. We'll take a look at some amateurs. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Well, let's get on the path to playing some better golf. So people, the important message to get across here to everyone is that the combination of tilt and turn, it needs to be appropriate. When we're looking at these great players, how their upper bodies work, it's amazing how close they are to one another. And when we start to tilt and turn effectively, we stop flipping it, standing up in it, we start getting shafting, we hit it from the inside and so much more. Looking at these driver swings from these top players, when they're halfway through their through swings, and we draw a line down that the shoulder plane points towards the T. And when we open up our upper bodies or open up our chest and torsos effectively, we have less strain on the back. We've seen it for many, many years. We've seen great players move through the ball into these positions time and time again. We will see certain players move through the ball with slightly less tilt at times. But still, looking at the averages of movement, we have a look at someone like Roy McElroy, we're seeing that these tilts are very, very, very close. And the closer we get to these positions, the better we hit it. Now, let's be technical just quickly without being mechanical and look at the chest, the upper torso, compared to the pelvis and the hips, compliments of Dr. Robert Neal on worldclassgolf.com. This is 500 PGA Tour professionals and the averages of movement. We're seeing 40 degrees of chest turn compared to 45 with the pelvis. Now, that is a lot, but looking at certain angles, we can actually see that. And what's important here to understand is the more that you turn, the more you can tilt. But when we start to tilt effectively, look at Palmer there, the hips and the shoulders, almost exactly the same. When we start to move that way, we have less pressure on the back. And this is something that's helped so many of the people I'm teaching online with certain drills and exercises. We're getting so many players to play so much better. There's swing analysts. Have a look at Victor Hovland here. He's probably got the most side bend you've ever seen. But you be the judge of that. Have a look how straight his back is. Okay, so a lot of the time we're sort of looking at players like this, we think, okay, they're really tilting, but when they turn just about as much as they tilt, you're saving your back. Your swing's becoming much more dynamic. And even myself, you know, I mean, I've been a little bit unlucky and I was born a certain way. My hips are a bit funky and I've had two hip replacements, but at 51 years of age, I'm still hitting the ball nicely. And you can see moving through the golf ball there that, I mean, I don't have a bad back. You can see how high my left shoulder is above my head here. But you can also see that that shoulder plane pointing down towards the ball. So it's very, very interesting. So guys, let's get through some, I'm going to try this test. And now there's something that I want you guys to have a look at and some of the moves here through the golf ball. We've seen, you know, heard of Pedri Harrington recently. You know, he's been talking a lot about the lead shoulder here. We've got our four to six inches of lateral shift, but we're looking at the shoulder and how high that is here. We're just seeing, you know, so many of the amateur golfers turning too low here and uh, having issues and all sorts of other issues in the swing. So let's go through some tests, some exercises here and get on the path to playing some better golf. So guys, right, got a great test here. Let's see how flexible you are. It's also a drill to set off some wonderful, create some wonderful sensations through the golf ball. Get a golf club, whatever club it is, get the full grip just on the outside of this trail shoulder, right for the right hand of the right shoulder. Pop on a cap, get your cap against the wall. Set yourself up in a realistic position, a roundabout, ready to hit a golf ball. And then when you move through, right, you're gonna get this grip not to touch the wall. If you don't touch the wall, you're doing really well. The more that you rotate, the more you'll find that it takes the strain off your back. Left side's extended, got my torso there, rotated caps remaining on the wall and then through. If you're not flexible enough to get through, the lower that you touch the wall, the better it is. The higher that you touch, the worse it is. And this move here, this 
right shoulder coming up high and this left side low. This is what's causing a lot of people to really early extend and they don't know that. They don't know they're doing it. They're trying to stop the early extension but it's a chain reaction from flat shoulders. A lot of the time you get your shoulders to work more effectively, it keeps your legs back. Guys, this drill sets off a range of different sensations and you can also do tests with it in time and see if you're working on your fitness. We've got a fitness stretching program there on World Class Golf Instruction that you can actually improve your tilts and improve your turns moving through the golf ball. There is unfortunately no start of a swing for people that aren't super flexible and people that are having issues, but we're all trying to reach our potential, right? You're all, we're all trying to get better, whether, whether you're 75 years old, whether you're 25 years old, reach out to me because I'm teaching people online from all around the world, swing analyst training, you've got WhatsApp contact, you've got personal contact with me. You can call me up on the phone, I can be your coach, doesn't matter where you're situated, I'm helping people from all around the world. Guys, let's have a look at another feel here to help us move through the ball much more effectively and get on the path to playing some better golf. World Class Golf Instruction is improving golfers between 4 and 11 shots. Your swing analyst video is the same as this YouTube format except with your swing on the screen. It goes between 15 to 30 minutes with tailored drills and exercises, a higher level of instruction at a cheaper price. 1,300 videos, 75 separate series. Reach out to us in the chat room and get on the path to playing your best golf. So guys, right, this is an interesting area of the swing and what we're looking at to get a gauge of how to move through the ball effectively is looking where this left shoulder is and how high that you can get it through impact. Now one of the great checkpoints that we can have a look at is that the left shoulder, when we're really getting into impact here, is higher than your left ear, your lead shoulder higher than your than your left ear, or your lead ear, if you could say that. Now, this is really a shallowing characteristic. This helps get a separation from your bottom half to your top half. When you're doing exercise, if you can get in there and feel like this side is up and this side is shortened, but your right knee is getting to the golf ball, you'll find that you have a very dynamic move. The other area that you can notice here is your rotation of your chest. So when you're moving through the golf ball, getting into impact, you still want your chest to be slightly forwards of the ball. You still want this part of your torso moving. You know, we're not stopping or we'll run into ourselves. What we need to do is extend this left side, get the knee to the ball, and this is a great drill in itself here, getting an understanding of this left side lifting, extending and knee to ball. Extension and knee to ball, and that will get your weight across, plus you'll get this left side up, which acts as a wall, and this is an unbelievable way for club golfers to simply improve their ball striking and their downswing and impact immediately. So people, right, for a lot of the club players out there, you know, looking at uh, when we're getting this left side to really extend this left shoulder, uh, to lift up the right side to short and we, we're seeing a lot of the club players just leave the club slightly open just push the ball slightly to the right and uh, just hanging that face just a little bit open for a lot of the advanced players they'll tend to hit the ball immediately better by clearing and having this left side high but if you are a person that gets out there and you do slightly push the ball you notice that you are pushing it we just need a touch more left hand forearm rotation here just to balance it out it's not much but just by moving through the ball you're just going to get a feeling of your lead thumb just pointing more towards the target and for a lot of you out there if you're getting that toe of that club up towards 12 o'clock here through the ball you know that's going to be a good place to be the drive will tend to rotate a little bit more some of the shorter irons a little bit less you can experiment around with that but i just want you to notice that when you're moving through you might need to feel like you just let that club head release a little bit more in combination with this lead side extension for those of you just hanging out, leaving that ball out to the right. Now guys, let's have, I love this drill and there's different ways to look at it, but I want to show you this one here because it sets off a range of sensations. You can actually, you know, hit some shots off a tee, grab like an eight iron, nine iron wedge and just listen to your body, all right? Just feel what it does. It's your swing, you know, I'm just showing you different information here just to get you guys on a better path here but what we do with this one is we get the lift up the left hand and get it about a yard outside the ball pointed down and and just by moving through the golf ball here and you could tee a few shots up you can hit some shots you'll be surprised when you swing through you'll be surprised how high this left shoulder feels 
and that right leg that's staying in. And it really, I think this is what I think about some of the sensations. Then you can get in there and gather your own feels. I feel that, or you can film it and you can see that it looks better and then start hitting some shots. And you might actually develop a swing thought or feel for the golf course because one of my favorite thoughts through the golf ball for myself is having the chest slightly up and rotated and sometimes feeling like there's, a, there's water dripping out of my right ear. Someone actually mentioned that a few months on, ago on YouTube, and I don't know who it was, but it, it's actually a, a swing thought I'm sort of using more on the golf course. So that sets off some wonderful uh, feelings through the ball, just practice swings, and you can do that out on the golf course if you feel that left side lowering. Guys, as I mentioned, world-class golf instructors, swing analyst lessons, reach out to me, I'll, I'll just invest in your golf. I'll, I can promise you I'll improve you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Thank you.